So now what this table is telling us that you see, uh, we need to look at the path suggested by the software where you are getting the highest modification index. Now, what does this modification index mean? It means that, what is it saying? It is saying that if you co-vary, why co-vary? Because of the double direction arrow. It says that if you co-vary error six and error seven, if you co-vary error six and error seven, you will get a chi-square drop. That means your chi-square, which was 118 currently, right? So the, what is, where is it? Note for the model, the chi-square currently is 118. If you co-vary these two errors, the chi-square will drop by 36.399. Okay, and we what do we want? We want ideally we want our chi square to go down to zero because we want the difference of s and sigma to be zero. So we want to if we make this addition to our model, we can reduce the chi square. So what is the what is this path? E6 is TO2. And E7 is the error associated with TO1. Now, what is the software trying to tell us? The software is trying to tell us that if you co-vary these two measurement errors, errors, measurement error associated with TO2 and measurement error associated with TO1, that will be a better model. Now, should we do it or not? This is a suggestion. Modification index is a suggestion by the software. Should we do it or not? Now, because these are two items of the same factor, task orientation, we usually believe that given the items were measuring the same underlying construct, it is possible that the error or the confounding that happened for item TO2 could also be happening for TO1. Therefore, since these are items of the same factor, same underlying dimension, it is reasonable to assume that their measurement errors may be correlated to each other. And hence, we will accept this suggestion of the software and we will add this covariance between E6 and E7. We will select the double direction arrow and we will covary. So E6 is highlighted, the red circle, and we let me zoom it and show it to you. Okay, so we are covarying E6 and E7. Seven, right? Because these are items that belong to the same latent factor. Then we go back to our software. Sir, can I interrupt? The output. Sir. Yeah, just a minute. Just a minute. 